Hi, and welcome to our really, really old sketchbook tour. That sketchbook is back from 2019 and 2020. And yeah, I finally decided to film it because why not? <laughs> um, I started it on 11th 8th 2019 and finished on 17th 1st 2021 even huh right that was the time where I stopped drawing for over a year in between but yeah let's get started I guess <laughs> ah this is back then when Ari came out to put the uh, Kitty A Prestige Edition and I also get some funny watercolors, so I had to try out the glittery one. You can see a shimmer over there. And also that sketchbook is one of the first ones where I was using both sides to sketch on. Because usually my schedule before that was just like one-sided. So, Steven Universe, Spinel is also something cool I want to do again my sketchbooks will also tend to forget this washi tape and it looks like little crystals that's my partner that's another shibi of me and my partner doing snuggling <laughs> ah fresh love that was amazing <laughs> this is my League of Legends OC Ixen that's my friend's League of Legends OC Mortals. This one, this guy over there actually became one of my favorite D&D characters, but I totally overhauled him. So yeah, <laughs> that boy has been around a long time ago and started off funny enough, just like this guy as a Batman villain, like OC villain. Mm. Ah, no, very original, right? A jester. <laughs> and a joker, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I I love the colors over there. I messed up his the too holy, but the way he sees his wings and everything is colored is like ah, pop. Yeah, not much to say. More old OCs. random uninspired tools I'm pretty proud of that one because I sketched without like um honor guide more OC stuff this is like my Harry Potter OC that I also used to do cosplay TikToks with Ah, the good old days. Am I right? More OC stuff. This is when Senna and Ophelius came out. Like, she came out, he was announced. If I'm not mistaken. It's been too long. <laughs> um, yeah, Garnet. A Wakfu OC. A costume design I wanted to do of a punk Peter Pan. More D&D, more Wakfu. More OCs and random doodles. It's a Steven Universe OC. Hidenai, Hidenite. Hidenite, yeah, Hidenite. Uh, more of me and my partner. Ah, this is, this is where my mascot came from. This is, was, I think, one of the first drawings I did of him. Lavi. Also a D&D character that I love to bits. Um, yeah, there's more <laughs> of that chaotic bard that I love so much. This sketchbook at this point been so old I don't even know anymore what I was thinking except being in a lobby brain rot. I 
honestly love him to death. And I love those little sus. Picious little doodles over there. They're like glued all over the sketchbook. It's so cute. Ah, I love this one. Like this far done with my Equilines watercolors. Like the liquid ones. I really miss it to be honest. They are so fun to use. But oh well. <laughs> this is Lavi and some guards playing poker. He was losing, obviously. And this is where I started to create him a second character. <laughs> and another little suspicious thingy over there. <laughs> <sighs> Second boy, best boy, started off as a grumpy himbo, turned out to be a lovable himbo. <laughs> <sighs> Rebel, some other campaign stuff, more lobby. Hate it, I did it. There must be at least one page in my sketchbook that's flipped upside down. Here is that one. <laughs> and I was so devoted. There's a side because this is when I got my plotter. I still had one from. So, yeah. This is Davi and a friend, I will see more a deer. I think I tried to cover up the bleed through from that one. But like white poscos and just do lower. <laughs> another one. In another one. Ah, Sebastian and Lavi, this is a another D D DM character. I used to love those two, but sadly the ways with the DM parted. <laughs> Again, the friends, Tiefling, Lavi, more shenanigans with those two. Some, what should I say? Not, not studies, they were just like test runs if I can put characters into environments that at the same time they interact with the environment, that I can tell a story from one picture. And yes, I can. I do that, I should do that one more often, but I tend to not to for whatever reason. Nah, no. Oh yeah, Lavi is a magical boy, because that totally suits him. And some random Nadir aesthetics. I love him, two bits. Too bad I'm not writing dates on them, that way I would know where the pause started of the one year, but okay. Yeah, more trying to fill up the page to do something with the bleed from the other side. This is this is the pain, so to speak, of using both sides because I refuse to leave it blank or. I could have glued something in, but no, I, I had to draw. <laughs> well, more of it. I used to draw a lot of those too. <laughs> I think I wanted to... What was that? Why, why I had... Alright, I had too much leftover paint and I just smeared it on and just to, did something and at the end... I tried to do like a uh, Coven Morgana because that skin is like mm, lovely. More Abel, which back then was still a leak OC. No, he's from an original story. That is hidden because spice, 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 spice. There will be a lot of more of hidden pages in the other sketchbooks following that one. Um, yeah, my partners, the D&D character, my friends, and of course Chester again. I have no idea why I wrote there is Call of Duty Modern Warfare. 
And I guess I wanted to play it and I didn't know what it was because you know, COD had billion versions already at this point. I already discovered my markers, ha ha ha. Old R trade, that sadly never happened. More Bindiosis. I think this was something I saw on Pinterest. Not quite sure though. Of course. More love you, what else? More of my little barbarian that I never tend to play because she looks like a cutie pie but she's a psycho. And I tend to not like to play psychos. I like soft characters. Ah, yeah, that was. <laughs> this was the first um, campaign from him. He was like, we were fighting um, animated trees, I think. Like, I don't know the, the exact term of the monsters, but you know, they are basically monsters looking like trees. And from that campaign on, he absolutely hates trees and, and ever we go, because we quite occasionally have to go through the same forest, he always wants to burn it down. <laughs> of course, his companions doesn't allow it. <laughs> At least one of them doesn't. <laughs> ah yeah, Mermaid, like it started there, continues there. Alien mermaids. That's so so overused, but I still love it and I still wanna redraw it and do something with it, but I tend to forget. More mermaids. Oh, this is where I started playing Hollow Knight. I still didn't finish the game till this day because everything else comes in between. Um yeah. More to this. I like that one. It's so simple with the fruits and everything, but the pop of red is just like satisfying. I don't know. Sebastian and Slavi, Mornadir, being a goober. Oh, yeah, that's when I was still working at my old place which I'm not gonna say you know it was hell I would never again go back there pink babies more experimenting this is I think when I got my little brush pens these are fun still have them still use them a lot they still didn't run out I am my my working Morty brain rot. More Peter Pan, of course, Tinker Bell. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> the face is so weird. Ah, this is this is when when we were attacked by uh, giant goats. We ate one of them in D and D, of course. This was some sketches I did for a client on Pinterest. Some more post studies. Tried to loosen up a bit. Oh, this is. He got a new campaign and I wanted to redesign his armor, and of course, I took inspiration for Warframe because I love the open on screen. <laughs> oh. Oh, this. I mean, here's the fi finished version, but, but this. These were ideas for my first stickers when I did back then. Oh my gosh. Oh, lovely, lovely. More post studies. More those little guys. I like the strawberry dress, it's really cute. I think my partner got it, or I think it was about the hype from the strawberry dress, not quite sure. Another character that I end up not playing for a while and then I like, started playing 
in Strixhaven for like few sessions and then again got skipped which was sad but okay I love the dynamic on this page even though not Lucio and neither Lobby has anything to do with each other but that is so cool I don't know I really like that one Doodles, I guess. Also, really cute. I just love that obviously where I took the inform uh, information, the inspiration from the post from Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> uh, yeah, the sketches of my DD sticker designs. This is where Conchita Wurst won the Eurovision and I just decided to give Lobby a beard because I found it funny, it's still funny though. More of my little OC. There he is. This is... I'm not sure, I think this is the reworked version, I tried to like figure out his legs from behind and from the side because from the forearm it's not so hard to do the bird like legs but from behind it looks like he's gonna poop every second <laughs> oh well of course more lovey stuff like I think we were talking about what if lovey was an influencer or something like that and you know even on, on being an influencer, you have sometimes your grumpy, non fashionable days. Mickey, don't fall. So, more fix on. Just this again. My friends always see it. It's when I got GG. I still, I'm still like happy that I got her. I still have her in my team. I don't play that much sadly anymore. Yeah, he's also not here with his teammates and uh, DM OC DM character. Basically, our boss, so to speak. Ah, the Miku face. <laughs> of course, more Sebastian Lavi. I have no clue what this is, but I like the silhouette together with the one that I did in the back. I should do more crazy shapes in my backs. Yeah. Well, that's cute. <laughs> more. Oh, here is a reference. That's a character that I have for so long. He went through so many stages. And still to this day I didn't do an official design of him. It's been like what 11 years by now. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. More pen tools, I guess. Line art tools. Ah, this is where I bought myself some gouache. Was uh draw this in your style. It's really fun, like I should probably work again in gouache in the future. And I love this one, this one is so adorable with Abel. This is when I, when I changed him into a vampire for an original story that we have with one of my friends. This was left over paint again. It was cursed, very cursed. I wanted to use up a brown marker. It looks meh. But well, here it is. Because why not? Shenanigans. Ah, some campaign doodles where my character ended up sleeping in the bathtub and they had to three men drag them out because their modifiers were so low. Oops. Uninspired doodles, just something more wakfu stuff. I love them so much. I just like older versions of them. Oh, 
Fraser. I think that's that's when she came out. I forgot her name. Gosh. But yeah, this is my, my short Genshin hype. Oh, there are couple of my favorite pages. This is when um, I created uh, AU or Lavi, um, where he was basically a dragon, so to speak. Dragon, demigod, something, something. And this is when our all this started and his design started. It's really good memories. I think this is where I totally returned to art. With a lot of happiness in me. To finally be able to proceed and draw the way I wanted to. <laughs> and a lot of pen drawings. With under drawings, of course, with like pencils, but still, I like that. Should probably return to pencil, pen drawings, like this. Some hand studies. I randomly plopped some colors over, otherwise it would look bland. More dragon eel. Mix of everything. Ah. There's where the hard art block started again. Oh, lovely, lovely. More experimenting and doodling. South portraits. <laughs> I love this one. I love this one. Oh my god, what the fuck. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> oh boy. More poses. Trying to break my art block, I think. No clue what this is. No, no idea. More doubles, to worst to bits. You can, you can see where I'm trying and where I'm just being frustrated. <laughs> Like the trash one. That is, I think this is trash. Just pretty blossom trash skin. Oh, I love that skin. But yeah, that's it. At the end of the sketchbook. That took me way too long. So yeah, I'm gonna stop right there because I don't have much more to show. And come back to next time with some more content. What's gonna be? Who knows? Because planning, what is that? Anyways, bye bye.